gentlemen, and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. It is the late night live stream on Saturday night, Mon uh, Sunday morning, right? Let me double check. <laughs> yep, Sunday morning, and I'm ready to go to Pokey Church. That's right. I'm ready to praise the Pokey Gods and pull the Charizards. Kyle says, ew, ads. Minister, you better shut up. <laughs> How am I going to make my 15 cents if you don't watch that ad? Goblin says, I always get the Pornhub ad. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the porn hat bag. Look at this lovely Charizard. Tops Chrome PSA 9, unfortunately. However, still quite valuable. Uh, this is the new large. The previous large is finished up. And when this guy's out, we'll pick another new large. It'll be very exciting. He was recently graded. He looks fantastic. Um, people noted that he had the slightest error on this corner, which is how he failed the 10. So I wouldn't bother regrading him. Uh, however, you know, nines are actually still pretty collectible in my opinion. They are steeply discounted compared to the tens, and yet they have basically the same visual quality as a ten. So nine tops chrome Charizard, uh, those chrome cards are going up in price, so it's silly that I'm even letting him go. I think all I'd have to do is hold on to him, and his price would surely rise. However, I thought I'd share him with you guys because... Well, let's be honest. I got to raise some pokey cash in order to buy myself a jet ski. Ooh, jet ski time. Mr. Alex says, where's my little pony? Uh, we know my little pony and we won't be getting my little pony tomorrow night either because there's no mail pickup, um, no mail drop off either on Sunday. Mr. I got a pristine 10 Zard VMAX from Shiny Star V. Are you interested? Uh, you could certainly make me an offer in the Discord, but keep in mind, I'm like GameStop, okay? So I would only be buying him to resell him, and that means that I couldn't buy him for as much as you'd like to sell him to me for, okay? I can come to, I, I, I think I have a much more reasonable price, you know, margin than, than like GameStop, because they're ridiculous. You buy a brand new game, and then they buy it back for like 15 bucks, so I wouldn't do anything like that, but I couldn't offer you full price on a card that you just want me to sell for you. You know what I mean? What's up, Jack Walsh? Now, it would be a different story if I was trying to collect that Charizard, but I've already got him, so I don't need him. William says, I want some We My Little Ponies. Please tell me no My Little Pony. Stites, we definitely have My Little Pony, but we don't have it tonight. It's on the way. My Little Pony on the way. My Little Pony. That's right. We're all bronies now. Mr. Really Thought, how's the new home property? Oh, not thought. Mr. Really, how, though, house the new home slash property. It's incredible. We went driving out around town to find out more about where we're living. And there's so many interesting mom and pop shops out here. You know, um, there's no Walmart for like 24 minutes. You have to drive for like 24 minutes to get to the nearest Walmart. And there's a ton of just small business restaurants and small business everything out here. Um, you could tell that some of it's for like tourism people people come over here uh on holiday to lake of the ozarks there's boat shops and boat repair and boat parts everywhere you could drive like one mile in any direction on a main road and you will run into one of those shops and we were we were boat shopping today and we have a deposit down on a uh, yamaha personal watercraft i think is what they're called but basically, they're sea -dews. I think that's... The <laughs> you know how Kleenex is like the term we use for Kleenex? But it's actually a brand name. I'm used to calling those watercrafts uh, sea -dews. Well, anyways, we have a Yamaha uh, sea -dew <laughs> or jet ski. Maybe you call it a jet ski that we have a down payment on. And we will probably be buying that next week. Uh, you know what? It was kind of interesting, too. We were shopping around. There's hardly any of, any of them for sale. We're buying it before it's done repairing. We're getting a 2018 one. It's already kind of, it's a little bit old. It's already been used. It had a little damage on it. They're fixing it. So we're buying a, we're buying a used one. And uh, we went to a, 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 what would you call it? I, uh, they called themselves like the Yacht Club Water Sports. I guess a water sports shop where they sell specifically sea -Dews and jet skis and Yamahas. And they were sold out. They weren't just sold out, but they were backlogged by like 150. So we did some calling around to, to find some other deals, and uh, but we found somebody, and and uh, we have a deposit down on it, a dealership. That's right, a dealership. So hopefully by maybe uh, would it be next week? Maybe a little more than next week. Hopefully by then we're in the water. That's the goal. 
Wait time is two hours. I hope not. We had a long wait time yesterday. There was not a large audience watching, but there were an unusually high number of people ordering packs. Now, what is this Legend of Zelda music? It says full relaxing music, rain plus waves plus night. I actually hate that. Let's find a different video. I did not realize I clicked on that. Here we go. So relaxing Legend of Zelda music. And no rain, no waves. <laughs> it starts to sound a little bit like static, so I don't like that. Let's see what you guys are saying. They were all this free cash being tossed around. Well, exactly. So we went to this main uh, store where you shop for these sea doos and jet skis, and they're backlogged by 150. It's insane. He said that the guy there told us they would get more in by June. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> so we had to call around a little bit to find someone. Dogs update, uh, the dogs still run around completely unwatched and not on a leash. And I guess I could call animal control if I felt like it. I'm trying not to. I mean, I don't want to just be a dick, but uh, if they piss on my boxes one more time, I'll, I'm definitely doing something. Only if they piss on my boxes. If they don't, then I don't care. Hoops takes too long to cut through, says Dojimas. I'm sorry, Dojimas. Mister, how's the P-Dog situation? Uh... Just the same as it was yesterday. You went to a fire tonight. What'd you do? Did you roast somebody? Set them on fire? Wow, everyone wants a dog update. Ruff, ruff, ruff. How about a Pokemon update? Singapore's in lockdown. What's going on in Singapore? Are they having a lockdown? Too much COVID? You want a kitty update? Kitty's not in here. I actually closed the door behind me when I entered the room. So she needs me to open that door if she's going to join. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's kind of private in here. It's, it's nice being able to kick the kitties out. How's Mr. Spider? Well, he's not here anymore, so maybe he's running around under the table just waiting for me, just waiting for me to put my feet in the wrong place so he can bite me. <sighs> How's Kitty's eye? Oh, Kitty's feeling much better. Yeah, that's right. The other night, her eye was all swollen, and we didn't know why, so she definitely got bit by some sort of bug probably. But uh, since then, her she's all the way back down to normal. No swelling at all. The dogs are like a rich person's problem. We live vicariously through you, mister. <laughs> a rich person. It's like the opposite. We're, we're kind of like in the boonies, and they're used to living in the middle of nowhere and just letting their dogs do whatever they want. It's, it's, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't see it as a rich person problem. It's more like a problem you run into when you live in an area where people are trying to get away from society. Uh, typically, part of that lifestyle is not having to have your dogs on a leash in the front yard, but you're in a subdivision. We're like, we're not far away from you at all. The houses are all cramped right next to each other. The yards are small. Even though behind the, behind the houses are these big docks, the houses are actually right next to each other. So it's not like the dogs have this big yard to run into. They just run a little bit to the side and then they're in the next guy's yard and then they're in my yard. So it's, it's not that far at all. Yeah, it's very annoying. Mister needs to make hot dog out of those dogs. Kid update, that's right. Uh, wait, what? Kid update. In your waterfront McMansion. That's right, we're in our waterfront McMansion. Mister, there's a little speck of dirt in the CGC slab. Really? Where? I don't see it. That means it doesn't exist. How are you, mister? Long time no see. What's up, Juan Muro? We corn hub cards. Mister, we want the kid update. That's right, we've got 10 kids coming. What happened with the dogs next door? I went, rawr, 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 and then the dogs ran away with their tails tucked between their legs. So we're nine minutes in. Let's see if anyone wants to open up any pokies on this Sunday morning, Saturday night. Yes, a big order appears to have come in. Wow. How am I doing? I'm doing pretty well. Getting closer to having a jet ski. I'm very excited. Okay. Oh, did that just crash? Oh, I thought my computer crashed. So we have a payment. Wait a second. Let's let's, let's make sure we don't have any pre-orders first. All right. So William Valls is the first order of the night. He wants five vivid, five darkness. And one Silver Lance. Oh, for insurance, huh, mister? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's Vivid Voltage. 
five Darkness Ablaze. We're running low on Darkness Ablaze. I think I ordered more. I think there's more on the way. But we are okay for, for a little while. I miss when Evo was three for 20. Mister, they were at some point, they were five for 25 back when I first started offering them. Yeah, that was before the price of cards all changed. Logan Paul screwed it all up, man. One Silver Lance. Let me get this Silver Lance for you. Jet skis come with top models? That's right, boat babes. Well, this one kind of does. It has room for three people. Now, the reason that's significant is because that's enough room for not only one boat babe, but two boat babes. Oh, my God. It's a three-seater. And we hope to uh, use it to explore the water finally. We've been here for a little over two weeks, and we've never been out on the water. And we jealously have to watch everyone else playing around on the water, so it's terrible. And not only that, uh, we should be able to drag a tube behind us. We asked him, would this be a good vehicle on the, a good boat to pull like a, like a water tube? And he said, oh yeah. So it's, a, it's apparently, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, we haven't even seen it. It's in their repair shop right now. So they're working on it. But it's apparently pretty large and pretty hefty with a good motor. Jet skis suck because you have to get wet. Boats, at least you have a choice to relax on. Well, yeah, that's true. But we thought... What we could do is bring a floaty behind us where you can just kind of relax on the water. And well, yeah, I don't know. That's a good question. We'll, we'll want, inevitably we'll want to get both, a boat and a jet ski. We haven't made our mind up on the boat though. There's, there was a boat he showed us. It's $17,000. It's pretty small actually. And we could get it by financing it. I, I don't, I wouldn't want to buy it outright. I guess if I sold off like a vintage booster box, I could probably buy it outright. But I think a smarter move would be to just finance it. Ooh, Galarian Darmanitan. All right, we got Snorlax and Galarian Darmanitan. Can we get one more hit out of your Vivid? Mr. William. Excadrill. Oh, my. Now nah, I'm just teasing. That, that's okay. That's okay for the polls. Here's Ex Excelgor. Pack number two is Q Font. But yeah, we, we want a boat. We just, uh, we haven't made up our mind yet. Here's our next pack. It's High Dragon. Can you all go pump Shib? <laughs> what? Here's Santa Scorch. And what do we got here? Lycan Rock. All right, mister. Just one pack. Oh, you didn't get a hit out of the darkness. I'm sorry, mister. That was a little bit cold. Well, well here, since you're the first order of the day... Here's your Shining Legends Mewtwo. Oh, wait, that's Hidden Fates Mewtwo. Here's your Hidden Fates Mewtwo from the Nogala Pity Pile. Here we are. Mister, mister. All right. Well, I hope you guys are having a nice afternoon, or I should say late night, not afternoon. You know what I was trying to say? I hope you guys are having a nice weekend, <laughs> and somehow it turned into afternoon. I think it's because I was focusing on putting these away. <laughs> Insert Dogecoin joke here. Damn, got clap for pity. Hold on. Is this going to tilt? I feel like this camera is going to tilt over and fall. All right. Isn't it always afternoon? That's true. It's always afternoon, except for when it was when it's precisely noon. So William Valls. Does he say I have a bag? He doesn't say I have a bag. We'll go looking for William Valls' bag. Yakov, Zachary, Uriel, Yer, Wayne, Victor, Xavier, Zachary, William Hernandez, Wathana. Why don't you put your prices on the slabs anymore? Well, because they're not for sale this, at this time, okay? So maybe last time you saw them, they were for sale, but those are just being displayed. I'm actually almost out of slabs to sell in the uh, live custom boosters. So I'm trying to preserve the slabs I have left so that I have something cool to put into the live customs. My uncle stole all my doge. What? Thank you, Mr. William. Here you go. Good to go. Next up, we have Miguel Velazquez. It's Mike's side. He says one spot on the large. All right, good luck, Mr. Mike's side. Oh man. 
number four, and we'll say Miguel Velasquez. Mister, do you take feet pictures for some cards? I certainly do. But first, I have to grade the, the uh, feet, and if if the feet are bad, I can't I can't offer any booster packs. Next up, we've got Anthony. Oh, god damn it! it shut down again. Anthony Williams. Oh my gosh. Anthony says, five battle styles. I have a bag. Okay, five battle styles. Where are my battle styles? <laughs> I think I have to get more battle styles. Give me a minute. Where are my battle styles? Go back here. <laughs> Got this whole case here. There we go. There we go. And now we need five of these babies. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Mr. Anthony Williams. All right. Mr. Comes Tortilla Con Queso. Are you asking if the Pokemons come with some chips and dip? That's right, they always do. Sleep. Almost 2 a.m. What? Is it? No, -uh, it's almost 1 a.m. What are you talking about? Okay, so pack number one is Remoraid Aegislash. Pack number two is Conkledur Flapple. What? Pack number three. We've got Houndoom. Pack number four. Here's Single Strike Style Mustard. And pack number five is Scroll of Scorn. So you pick up one Flapple VMAX. I'm flappling just at the thought of it. I think I might have to flapple later tonight. So Mr. Anthony with an A, I think your bag's gonna be up here. Anthony Williams. Alex Johnson, Anthony H. Oh, not in there. Let's try this one. Mr. Going to Flapple Hard for the Pokies. That's right. Okay, and box number three. <laughs> so many boxes. So you're not in box number three either, it looks like. Take a look at everyone who is in here. Okay, maybe up top then. Let's check up top. This is how many A boxes we have. Okay, and one more box. Brian Ochoa Cheese, Alexis Lamon. Well, well, well. I can't find your bag. <laughs> Could you give me more information about your bag? Is it in the overflow? Luke Zimmerman. Probably in the overflow somewhere. I finally caught one of your live streams. Your live streams are always so late. I know. <laughs> Love your content. Oh, thanks, man. Let me look at this one more time. I feel like it should have been in here. No matchless fighter, huh? I guess it's a jet black. What are you talking about? We got. Hold on. Let me check. Matchless Fighter is here, man. It's restocked. Go look at the description again. Matchless Fighter. Uh-huh. Right there. So we got lots of Matchless now. We're all restocked. Adam, Anthony, Adam, Alex, Alex, Anthony H. All right. So since I'm having a little trouble locating your bag, I believe I'll create a second bag for you for now. 
That's Anthony Williams, right? He says, I have a bag. All right, Mr. Anthony Williams, you've got two bags now. My Little Pony Booster's coming soon? Mr., can you throw your bulk in the air for TikTok? Uh, I suppose I could. Anthony. Mr., would you say you make around five times more live streaming on the game contest than on this YouTube channel? What are you asking? You're asking which channel makes more money? Anthony Williams. And we're going to say two question mark. I have a box of Jet Black. No, uh Stop trying to trick me, mister. You know I'm too smart for that. Next up, we have Kara Nichols, who says 10 Silver Lamps. All right. 10 of them. Mister, you grew your hair out? Yeah, I, can, I do that from time to time. I tend to grow it out and then shave it all off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm a simple man. Now, I'm real lazy with my hair. I don't do anything with it. Internet Explorer says, I love you. That's fine, but I'm not going to use Internet Explorer. Sleep. I'd rather be spied on by Google with Google Chrome. <laughs> Would you ever think about starting earlier? I feel like you might get more views. You're probably right. The, here's the problem, guys. If I started earlier, that would mean me and my wife would spend even less time together. Because she goes to bed at about 12 a.m. And uh, she gets off at 5 p.m. from her job. So any time that I decide to start working before 12 a.m. is time that I could have spent hanging out with her. So it just really depends on the day. Some days we just naturally don't hang out because we both decide to do our own things. Other nights, we do hang out. So, you know, it just depends on what we want to do. And it's a weekend. You know, I don't take any days off from streaming. So she never gets like a single night where it's like, I don't have to come over here and stream. But I might stream a little bit later than usual. So that happens. You just really think about that for a second. I'm just one guy. And we go live all seven days. Mister, what do you do full time? Uh, full time? Uh, I'm a dog walker full time. I, I take dogs out for walks and that's that supports my Pokemon card addiction. Here's oh my gosh, you did it. You pulled Gardevoir and that's cold. Miss Kara Nichols, this time we just have two V's. Er, two V cards and some lovely hollows. And that was ten silver lands. Ah, that sucks. I guess my only point is my schedule other than the weekend never fits the twelve AM, three AM business. Let me help you, says Seals Templar. All right, Miss Kara, let's find your bag. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Oh, that Caitlin looks so nice. I went for a week and a half last year. What? Mister, you should hire your wife, and then you can hang out together always. True, but my wife's job does provide health care for both of us, so she could quit. The thing is, we would be competing to do the same job if she quit and started helping me. So I, I couldn't necessarily replace her income uh, with that much work over on this channel. However, we would then also lose that health care. Next up, we've got Justin Huerta. He says one fossil custom and one hidden face. Justin, aren't you already in here like 20 times? No, that's Connor. Oh, man, Connor. Connor's really hoping that he pulls that fossil pack because if he doesn't, he's going to be awfully upset. <laughs> so, Mr. Justin, number nine. He's a big boy. He can do what he wants with his money. I probably would just buy about one pack myself. That's how I do That's how I do it. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, one Hidden Fates, huh? Big fan of the Hidden Fates over here. Here we are. Ooh, Hidden Fates. So any interesting subjects you guys want to talk about tonight? Any fun things going on in the news? Give us a news update. Oh, yes. Take a look at that. It's Shiny Galissapod. Sweet. He is a little thin. I can hear a boat passing by. So late at night for a boat to be out. He is thin on the left. But this goes to our friend Justin. Mr. Justin. Could get OC grade, maybe. Biden signed another socialist policy into accord. 
I'm from Canada. Any questions? Elon Musk is manipulating the crypto market. He could, couldn't he? He could just say like, oh, don't buy this, buy that. And that would affect the price, would it? Imagine if he's a big name rapper, could have had his autograph. What? What are you talking about? Mr. Juan is back and he says, I want four Evos, Mr. Juan Burrow. All right, sounds good. What's the wait time? 17 bazillion hours. How much for the Charizards? One, two, three, four. Well, this Charizard is in the large. This one's mine. It's not really for sale, but maybe I make it for sale. You know, I ought to sell off more of my cards because this this Yamaha is so expensive. It's going to take a chunk of my money, and I got to replenish that so I can appropriately run this channel. Okay, Mr. Juan Moreau. Where's our price on these again? I don't think your math is right. Let me check your math. Hold on. The evolutions are 27 a pack, and you wanted how many of them? He wanted four of them, and that comes out to be... So you're... Oh, I see what you did. So you're $8 short. What you accidentally did was you sent $100.08, Mr. Juan Murrow. So you are short. Let's see. So what you, I'm gonna open up three of them for you. I'll hold the fourth one to the side. So these three I'll open. I'll hold this one off to the side in case you still wanna open it. And what I'll do instead, I'm gonna write you up a little card. He says, I'll send them. Sure, it'll be a difference of, it's a difference of $27, right? So that's what you're owed. Or that's what you have left over, or not left over. Let me think about it. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a difference of $27. It's a difference of $8. There it is. So you just need to send 8 bucks. And in the meantime... In the meantime... Oh, I did do that wrong. Hold on. Let me see how much... 27 times 3 minus 100. There we go. In the meantime, you've got $19 remaining. All right. I'm bad at math. There we go. Okay, let's see what's in these packs, Mr. Juan. You ready? We've got Magmar. Oh, my gosh. He says, I can't math either. Myth. Oh, Dojima says, I can't math e either. Yes, yeah, it gets confusing. That's why we have computers to do all that. Pack number one. Pack number two. Pack number two is Metal Energy and Holographic Polyrath. All right, he looks pretty clean. Looking pretty well centered. Mr. Pull a Charizard. I hope so for our friend Juan. And. Oh, there you go. Mega Charizard. You did do very well. Congratulations. All right. Mega Charizard. Boop. Let's go through for any other notable cards. There's Charmander. Charmander again. I like this Arcanine. All right, very cool. He did it! That's right. Boop. And he needs a new bag. Mister, what's up, Juan? There's always a Doduo with Mega Charizard. <laughs> So your bag name is just Juan. However, I'll add the Muro underneath it. But it doesn't say that in PayPal. You sent it. I tell you what, I believe you. And let's just go ahead and pop this open then. You ready? So pack number four. Pack number four is Pikachu. And Super Potion. Oh, man, that last pack was a little bit cold. Woo! That's how it goes, though. It would have sucked if it was actually like Charizard or something, right? Like maybe Hollow Charizard, which could happen. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Juan Murrow. 
Next up, we have Kevin P. Lombardo. He says seven matchless fighters. I need a new bag. New bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, Mr. Kevin, new bag. We like Matchless Fighter. What a lovely set. Sneep. I got a two-inch Dunsparce. Does it evolve? I guess not. Hot Pulls Only, says he, Elon Muck. Throw those away. Okay, here's Inteleon Hollow. Cold. Here's Ah oh, Urshifu. Zapdos V. Ooh. Mister, how's your spider doing today? Well, I don't know where he's at. He ran off. He's hanging out with somebody else now. Probably munching on some bugs. Dracovish. I've been watching your content on TikTok and found your YouTube channel. What's up, man? I'm glad you found my YouTube channel. Here's Galarian Slow King. Ooh. Now you can hang out with us and watch Pokies get open for like four hours, maybe three. Should be at least three solid hours of Pokemon card opening. You can, all, you can even order them live if you are yourself a Pokemon card addict. So that's for Kevin P. Lombardo. And we're going to baggy you up. Kitty may or may have not eaten cats. Cats eat bugs. That's right. I've seen the little gray cat. She ate a moth one time. She was like chomp, chomping on it. I'm like, oh, gross. I, I didn't know cats did that. <laughs> but it, it, you know, it immediately made sense that they would. Lombardo. Where do I see what you're selling? You'll want to check the description where it shows the menu. And also, there's a little link to the instructions. And the instructions are in our Discord server. Okay, now we have Jeff Leon. He says, I still need the Pikachu. I have two bags, two McDonald's, and one Darkness. You got it. Reaching back here for the McDonald's Pikachu packs. You're excited for the football prism cards. That's right. We got NFL prism to appease the sport fans. My goal is to start expanding to many hobbies, many card hobbies. That's what we've been doing over time. I think it's an exciting thing to do because when it comes to like strictly Pokemon cards, the thing is they only release a new set every two months maybe or one month, however long it is. So you kind of have to wait for something to happen. And I think having other hobbies around will make it so that new stuff comes out more frequent because you've got more hobbies to tap into. Uh, so you just have constantly new stuff to look into. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, we'll learn a little bit about the sports cards. It'll probably take us a while to really, especially for me, to really figure out what's going on with them. Mr. Needs a Boat. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Can't wait to buy MLP cards. My little pony. All right, what do we got? Oh, chest bin. Hollow chest bin. What are the pack can you give me if I had $19 remaining minus $8 because you gave me the fourth pack? What? What are you saying? Hold on, let me see. Well, I didn't give you the I didn't give you the fourth pack. I assume you paid for it. So if you sent me eight dollars and you add that to nineteen dollars, that comes out to the total of twenty seven dollars, and that's what you used to open up the fourth pack. So you paid for the fourth pack, if that's assuming you sent the eight dollars. And so you would have a balance of zero with me, because you said I had nineteen dollars remaining. Well, Mr. Juan Murrow, that's because you had only you you didn't pay enough for a total of four packs. That's why. So you had $19 remaining because you'd only paid for three packs. You paid for three packs and you'd made a small mistake where you still owed $8. Now I'm questioning if you paid that remaining $8. <laughs> Juan, you were supposed to send the $8 for the last pack. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so four packs should have been $108. But Mr. Juan, you'd only sent 
$100.08, you know, like pennies, right? All right, next up, we've got, who did we just finish? Oh, no, we're not done. Jeff Leon, uh, Jeff Leon still needs his darkness ablaze. All right, give me a moment. All right. I miscounted. Sorry about that, mister. No problem, man. It happens to us all. Mister, what packs would you suggest to a new collector? Good question. What packs would I recommend to a new collector? Well, I would say it strongly depends on what your favorite Pokemon is. So why don't you tell me what a few of your favorite Pokemons are, and I'll give you some advice. Okay, yeah, Steam Siege, right? <laughs> the My Little Pony set, that's right. <laughs> Jeff Leon. Hidden Fates. XY Evo. Mister needs a filter for his hands. Mister, if I'm making your mods upset, I could just stop. I could just stop watching. You're stop watching? You're making the mods upset? What'd you do? Did you did you wiggle your finger at them? Yeah, I'd say Battle Styles is a is a decent pick because it's still pr relatively cheap. Uh, but Darkness to Blaze isn't too bad either. I used to play a lot of Pokemon Silver with po Game Boy Advance and really like the old vintage cards, but they're pricey. Yeah, you're not going to get any of those without paying a whole bunch of monies. Um... Yeah, good question. If you're rich, I don't know if you're rich. I've got these fossil booster packs for seven ninety five, the first edition. So that's a thought, but those are uh, those are very pricey. Next up, we got Jack Gray. Jack Gray says one silver lance and one matchless. All right, you got it, Jack. This is for Jack Gray. Have a nice night, Mister Noah. Let's see. I would recommend opening something cheap for someone new. I would op I would recommend opening something that you want. That's what I would recommend opening. Oh, Mister, the perfect, perfect matchless fighter. That's Articuno and Tornadus. Woo! Raphael says, "Hey, y'all came late. Just stopping by to say hello and good night. Stay frosty." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, Mr. Jack Gray, I think you are in the overflow. Let's see. Are you in the overflow? In the overflow. Okay. We just got to find you. There's Haunted, Joe Harris, Jeremy Helmstatter, Jack Walsh. Here we are. Jack Gray. Jack Gray, you're doing pretty well. What's your name? Uh, my real name is Derek. That's my real name. So now we have Jack Walsh. He says, hey, Mr. 10, Dragon Ball Super Evolutions. All right. Dragon Ball Super Evolutions. It's super de duper. <laughs> Those fossil packs are for the elite. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got six... <laughs> Dare Rick. That's right. <laughs> so we're getting more evolutions. Give me a moment. There we go. Waiting patiently for my pack so I can play Cold War. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. All of this is for you, Mr. Jack Walsh. Good luck, Jack. You're sending those CGC cards out, right? That's right. <laughs> Sneep. What's your favorite Pokemon? I like uh, Pipichumon. Vegetamon. All right, toss these tops off to the side. And let's see what we have. You ready? 
So we've got Universe 9 Supreme Cairo. Cairo? He's looking pretty devious. I don't know how I feel about that guy. Nampa testing the opposition. And Bergamo. Oh my god. Pack number three. Here's some Bulma inspiring support. And Rosie Blast Manipulator. Ooh. Dude has Rihanna's forehead. <laughs> Here we have Unexpected Casualties and Ultimate Fusion go get -a. He's a go get -a. Number five. Oh, that's interesting. So the second to last one is not hollow. And then Gina, Heroic Support is hollow. Oh my gosh. What kind of boat are you looking to get? Uh, the affordable kind? <laughs> Good question. Intensifying Power Trunks and Ultimate Fusion. Go get it. They get really expensive. The boats do. Even a small boat is pretty expensive. It's like the price of a car. And last but not least, we have Golden Frieza, The Perished, and Android 16. That's right. Derek loves a vagina. All that is for you, Mr. Jack Walsh. Yo, he said 10. That's seven packs. I thought he said seven. Oh, I'm going crazy. That's what's going on. He he paid. I'm sorry. He did order ten. My bad. It's because I looked at his. I looked at the payment, and the payment has a seven at the front. So for some reason, I thought there were seven packs. That's my fault. Buy a John boat. Yeah, I think a John boat is probably too small. Like a dinghy boat. That's too small. All right, here we go. Three more packs. The hot ones are about to come out. Saiyan Kaba and Son Goku, Path to Power. Ooh. You did it! <laughs> okay. Pack number eight is Desperate Measures. Oh, man, this guy's going to be on 600-pound life. My 600-pound life. <laughs> and last but not least, we've got... Made in Charge and Son Goku, the long-awaited rematch. All right, now all these lovely Dragon Ball Supers are totally open. Ooh. Do I play video games? I used to play a lot of video games. Now I'm very wrapped up with working on these card channels. How's it going, Karen? Hi, hi, hi. Oh, my God. Mister, can I put an order for a half a box? Half a what? Half a box of matches can I send for the other half? Oh, I see what you're saying, Connor. Um, Yeah, go ahead. I think that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. Next up, we've got Anthony Roberts. He says, Mister, can I get a Fates Collide pack graded and have you sent out the fossil packs? The fossil packs are basically, they're like one step away from being sent out. That's where they are right now. And the reason why I haven't sent them out is because I do everything on Sunday. And also, you know, one or two more days, somebody else might submit another pack. So I try to get them all out together. So you want to grade a Fates Collide pack. Is that right? It looks like it. So give me a moment. All right. I got a nice, clean Fates Collide pack just for you, mister. Anthony Roberts. There we go. Wait, that's Roaring Skies. Let me make sure we get the right one. It looks like Fates Collide. Oh! Ah, that's me knocking the camera over as I reach all the way down for this Fates Collide. All right, there we go. Now we've got Fates Collide. <laughs> it's difficult. I got reached reach way, way under there, and the, the wire's, like, right here. All right, there we go. Anthony Roberts, and we'll place you back here. Is everyone okay? Nobody's injured? <laughs> All right. Can you grade modern packs? You can. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't grade too many of them because it gets pretty expensive. Abigail Z Zakic says one shiny star. One shiny star. 
toss this away. All right, we got a fresh little box. My arm! <laughs> My leg! <laughs> like from the movies. They always use that same sound effect, don't they? There we go. Plastic everywhere, man. Would I grade a fake card? Uh, only if the company knew that it was fake and it was like an agreement that we wanted to grade it. You know what I mean? So like those gold metal cards. Yeah, I'd, I'd be open-minded to grading those. Come on now. There we go. But if the intention was to trick somebody into believing it was a real card, then no, that's not appropriate. All right, Steve. Good luck to Abigail. Is it free shipping? Within the United States, yes. Oh, there you go, mister. That's Skyla Full Art. All right, one of the best pulls in Shiny Star. Congratulations on that. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up right away. That was a one-pack snipe, mister. Congratulations to Abigail. Abigail with an A. Abigail doesn't say she has a bag. Let's go looking for it. Abigail, do you got a bag? Adrian, Amanda, Austin, Alexander, Austin, Anthony. Ooh, not there. Skyla's a boat, babe. I suppose so. She has one. Okay. Alexander, Adam, Amanda, Alex, Alexis. Who's Alexis Lamont? Andras, Arneth, Alex. Alejandro, Adnan, Augustine, Aaron Fowler. Well, I'm not running into it. What's up with these guys having... Oh, oh, that's an old one. <laughs> we found you. All right, there you go. That's a big upgrade. Welcome back, by the way. You must have taken a little break for a little while. Okay, and I'll put you back in the box. Thank you very much. Time to refresh. Climbing off my foot there. Let's grab some fresh penny sleeves. What's the best card to pull on the Dragon Ball Evo packs? Somebody told me last night. I don't remember what it was. Okay, we're locking back in and we're going to check out and see where the list is now. Look at this lovely Charizard Tops Chrome. Oh, it's like it's a full art card before they had made full art cards. Okay. Wow, it looks like we have a lot of orders for tonight. Might be a busy night tonight, guys. So... Next, we got Saint Perez. He says, two Dragon Ball Super. You got it, Saint. Two Dragon Ball Super. Sneep. Best card is the Waifu's Heroine's Lineage. What? <laughs> Here's Kakunsa Maiden Might. Kakunsa? Kakunsa looks like she's got a little bulge going on there. Oh my god. It's a little bulgy wulgy. Pack number two Android 15, the mission begins. <laughs> what is this character? Oh my god. <laughs> He's supposed to be like a rap artist character. That's what he looks like. <laughs> Saint Perez with an S, right? And let's see where we find you. There's Sarah, Sean, Saint Perez. Ooh, woo. She's got a little bulgy wulgy. Next up, we got Michael Levia, who says five battle styles. Wow, I wonder how long I was behind. Like I said, there's quite a few orders based on these numbers. That or maybe a few really large orders. We're about to find out. Misters, misters. All right, how many did you order? Five of them, huh? Two, three, four. There we go. Ooh. I meant with the stream. Who's streaming? Sneep. Mr. and everyone, hope all is well. How's it going, Emmett 
Carlson. Emmett Carlson. How's it going? Mister, what made you want to do this for a living? It just kind of happened. It, it was never my intention. It just sort of happened. He does look like a rapper, and I have a lot of those cards. I got them shipped. I got the chasing card. Oh, nice. Here's a Licky Licky. Ooh. And <gasps> Urshifu. You got Urshifu V. Digimon cards need to make a guest appearance. <laughs> Mom, I want Pokemon. Timmy, we couldn't afford Pokemon, so we got you Digimons. They're basically the same thing. No, Mom, you're wrong. Pokemons and Digimons are nothing alike. God, you're ruining my life. I do that. Every time we talk about Digimons, I like to tease them a little bit. <laughs> All right. Mianchu. Mianfu. Here did the spider go. He went here. Michael Levia, let's go find your bag. Does he need a bag? Digimon show was fire. Was it? Was it? Was it, though? Was it, though? Was it? Was it? Marvin Leon. Mr. Levia. Can't hide from me. Oh, Michael Levia. Was it? Was it? Diggy Mom. <laughs> what is it? Exclusive what? All right. There we go. Next up, we've got Isaiah Cantu. Do your farts be loud? One life custom and one hidden face. Okay, one hidden and one live custom booster. Ah, this time it's a cold custom booster. Oh my lord. Mister. What do we got? We're pulling. Shiny Froakie Ribbit. <laughs> Congratulations on that. That's going to go right over to Mr. Isaiah. Mr. Giovanni. Isaiah Cantu. Is that right? Isaiah Cantu. He says, wow, that was horrible. I have a bag. <laughs> what are you talking about? Froakie's awesome. He turns into Greninja. Dude, it could have been a cold pack. You only opened one pack. Adam Vincent says one General Mills and one Mickey D. All right. General Mills. Here's your General Mills. Watch this be the McDonald's pack with the Pikachu in it. <laughs> oh. First season of Digimon is lit. Oh, I hate this song. What is this? All right, there we go. <laughs> I kind of skipped through that one. Okay, so for your General Mills, you pull <gasps> Pikachu. Oh my gosh, you did it. It's the $100,000 Pikachu. Now for the McDonald's, let's see if you can pull the worthless Pikachu out of the McDonald's pack. Sneep, he did it. That's right. <laughs> Good luck to Adam Vinson. Boop. That Sobble. All right, Sobble. He looks pretty spooked, pretty surprised. You need some McDonald's in your life right now. That's right. Let's go get some Mickey D's, man. Man, I don't have McDonald's where I live. There's no McDonald's anywhere. Somebody needs to open one. Okay, Adam Vinson. Let's go grab your bag. Adam Vinson. No McDonald's. That's right. It turns out all the things you like were infra infrastructures and systems that were built by other workers. Always got to stop and appreciate that. You live next to a McDonald's because someone was driven for profits, and so they built it. And now you get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Adam Vinson, just like I didn't make the internet, but here I am on the internet. So nice. So lovely. <laughs> Next up, we have Adam Moondorf, who says two silver lance. Okay, two silver lance. 
Oh, that officially empties out the silver lance, I believe. Two silver lance, three jet black. Okay, we got three jet black. Five matchless fighters. All right, five matchless fighters. And how about one live custom? I have a bag. All right. You could have totally made the internet. I knew it. So one live. Mr. Adam Mundorf pull in. Oh, what's this? Eight silver lance. Well, that was easy. Why didn't I do that? Where are my silver lance, though? All right, give me a second. I think I have to go get more. All right, we got lots of silver lands just for you, mister. This chair is so squeaky, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why wow, grab it eight perfectly? And we're up and running. What time is it there? I'm confused. It's 7.35 a.m. here in London. Well, where I live, it's 1.32 a.m., so it's very late at night. Squeak. Sneep. One, two. One, two, three. Okay, here's our three jet black spirits. And now for our silver lances. One. Two. Do Unbroken Bonds and Hidden Fates. Three. Steeps. Here goes. Good luck to Adam Mundorf. It's Adam Mundorf, right? Good luck to Adam Mundorf. Mr. Mundorf returns. We've got Tornadoes. Tornadoes Amadeus. Oh. WD-40. Yeah, I actually own some of that. I just don't use it. Here's... Oh, that's cold. Cold. Oh, man, these are cold so far. Here's a Volcanion. He's kind of nice. Cold. Cold. Papa John's are giving you free Bitcoin when you order pizza here in the UK. Really? It's kind of weird. Cold. And, oh, Gardevoir. Wow, there were so many silver lance packs and they were all cold. Just make sure, Jesus. All right, well that's okay because we'll have much better luck with Jet Black Spirit. Pull in a cold pack. And Chrysalia. All right. And finally, another cold pack. Okay, the Jet Black Spirit's pretty cold. How about Matchless Fighters? Give him a sweater for the coldness. <laughs> okay, here's a... Oh, Blaziken. Okay, we got Blaziken. How many Rainbow Rare do you have? Uh, like a bazillion? Duh. I got so many Rainbow Rare. Bro. And Moultries. All right. Do I take Bitcoin? I do. You'll notice in the description that my Bitcoin wallet is listed right under the PayPal, okay? You do have to tell me if you're sending some, okay? So I can write it down on a card. All right. So you end up with four poles, Volcanion, Tornadoes, Moltres, and Blaziken. You also have these two hollows. Give me a moment. Tempted to give you a pity poll. Let's see what you would get. <laughs> Full of beef from Team Up. All right, and that's for Adam Mundorf. Adam. Adam. Alejandro. Adnan. Where are we going to find you? I feel like you would be in the front. I don't think I saw you in here either. Nope. And how about over here? 
Man, I gotta say, I did not sleep well last night. Oh, here we are, Adam Moondorf. I, I don't know what it is. I just got like too hot in the middle of the night. I had to like turn the fan on. All right, there we go. Next up, we've got Justin Huerta. Justin says, hey, Mr. Two More, hidden face. All right, let's go get two hidden face. Mr. Justin. I need a nap and a monster. <laughs> I haven't had any energy drinks in a while. They're pretty crazy, man. Those energy drinks, they feel like they wreck your body for sure. I keep my AC on, and it is not warm here. Where do you live, mister? Somewhere hot? Hot. Hot. All right. Does five hidden fates do five hidden fates and unbroken bonds? Okay, mister, I'll just do that because you said so. Mister. Face reveal. Well, mister, if you've been following me on... If you've been following me on uh, TikTok, then you definitely saw my face reveal already, right? Here goes, Justin. Sneep. Justin Huerta with the two hidden fates. Pull in far fetched and Atkins. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. That's tough to see. Woo! Risky packs, man. Holy. I got a PSA 8 Charmander Toys R Us promo. You guys know how much it's worth. Two bucks. Here you go, Mr. Justin. You did get the Snake Ekans. Jeremy Helmstadter returns and says three live customs and two shining fates. All right, three live custom boosters. We've got Stenny, Water Energy, and, oh, mister. Those are some cold live customs. Now, he also wanted two Shining Fates. Let's just make sure he doesn't just go pull a Charizard on us real fast. That's one Shining Fates. Ah, you got to be kidding me. Okay, do we have a, another box? Yeah, we do, good. Another box waiting right here. Justin's cold! Uh, okay, I'll be back in a bit, says so Snorlax V. This chair is so loud. I think this is the loudest it's ever been. Cool. So now we've got another Shining Fates right here. And these will go up top. It's Flapple time. <laughs> Flapple time. Okay, good luck. Jeremy Helmstatter. Pack number one. Oh, I thought maybe, maybe I thought it was the Charizard, but it is Sense of Scorch. He's got this little flame, which is always so deceptive. The flame on the side. Oh, mister, pulling another Skyla tonight. This is going to be the Shining Fate Skyla, English. All right. Funny enough, you also pick up the Al Creamy. Ooh la la, mister. That's for Jeremy, Helmstatter. Let's find this bag. Here it is. Mr. Jeremy. Mr. Oh, my lord. Goblin's going wow. <laughs> you know, we don't really pull that character too often. The Skyla, she comes out of those boxes pretty rarely. Arturo Perez says, Mr. One, Opus One, can we get a PSA graded My Little Pony cards in the customs? Also, a new bag. Who this? New bag. Mr. Arturo, 
we certainly will get graded My Little Pony cards. I guarantee it. I don't know if PSA grades My Little Pony. That'd be interesting. They should. I'll send my cards in if you send yours in. Cocobo Cheek. <gasps> Master! <laughs> I can only scream so loud. Holographic Cloud. All right. Excellent pull. Take a look at that. So that's Final Fantasy base set that he's opening, everyone. Onion Knight. <laughs> Bryn Hilder. All right, very lucky. Toss. Hit after hit after hit, that's right. Cloud coming out of the box. I hear that Articuno is in the live custom packs. What are you talking about, mister? You're, you're nuts, mister. That's crazy talk. Connor Gillespie says 15 matchless fighters. 15 matchless fighters. Now, you said you wanted to buy a whole box of them is what you changed your mind to. You said, why don't I just buy a whole box of them? All right. So, Mr. Connor, I'm assuming you bought a whole box, and we're going to sneep it open. And one live custom, he says. Okay, so we're going to get you a live custom as well. There we go. He says, I did, mister. It's too late for you, Connor. Now you must mind sweep. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> What's in this live custom booster for Connor Gillespie? Oh, it's just a hollow electric energy. I'm sorry, mister. Let's go ahead and get these packs open. Sneep. 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 How many packs come in a full box? There are 30 packs in a full box. 30 packs. That is true for Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit. It's true for the Lost Thunder Japanese. So if you buy out 30 packs of them, I'll get you a sealed box, okay? And a few spankies. Did you open any Japanese Lost Thunder for yourself? I have not. I've been too busy. I've been too busy. Uh, but if I do open them, I'll open them on TikTok, okay? So you'll know. All right, here we go. Good luck to Connor Gillespie. No member, Andras Ratej. Thanks for joining, mister. Seven fossil packs left. That's true. All right, here's our blazy kin. He's so blazy. Most non-specialty sets. What? We need to fill the box break. True, yeah. The fossil, the fossil custom booster box. What do we got? Cold. <gasps> oh, I thought this was going to be Snorlax, but it is the urn, I believe. Is this called Mysterious Urn? So there's Mysterious Urn. I don't know if that's what it's called. Let's see. Maybe you also get a secret rare. Okay. Let's keep going. We got Shaman. Here's Inteleon. Hold. Thunderous. I hear he uses a lot of thunder. Cold. Mom, quick, get the codes. Here's up. Oh, it's Mr. Galarian Slow King. Hold. Here's Zapdos. Oh my gosh. Stephanie says, yo. Urn of Coom. That's right. Love the RuneScape music. <laughs> this isn't RuneScape music. This is Zelda music. We could give RuneScape music, though. If we wanted to. Cold. Here's a Beedrill. Bzz, bzz. Cold. Urshifu. 
Oh man, going through these packs is a slow process, huh? Oh, we got the Galarian Slow King. So far, no secret rare. We got one ultra rare. We're hoping that there will also be a secret rare in the box. It is possible for that to happen. I've seen it multiple times. Moltres. Here's Thunderous. That's so much thunder. Cold. All right, down to the last few. Cold. Cold. And... Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> All right, so the urn is going to be your hot pull of the box. Zerids are hiding in Evos. That's true. That's exactly where they're hiding. I saw one there. Gonna be last pack? I'm afraid not, mister. This is one of those boxes where it's only an ultra rare. He says, whack. Well, I mean, it feels like a Snorlax. That would be a really hot pull, but unfortunately, it's the urn. The urn's going to be okay, but not, like, crazy popular. <laughs> it's an urn. <laughs> All right. Mr. Connor, let's find your bag. Connor Gillespie. Connor Gillespie. Where would I have your bag? Would it be up here? Let's see if it's up here. Here's Bryce, Alexander. No. Mr. Connor. How about this? Brian Cheese, no. Okay. Are you in the overflow? Oh, you're in you're right here. For some reason I assumed you had like a huge bag. Boop. Do 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 Dustin Day says, Mister, I'll take one large and one shiny star V. Alright, Mr. Dustin. Mr. Dustin. Okay, one large for Dustin. I went to Target and got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and the employee tried to limit me, even called the manager, but no limit on Yu-Gi-Oh's on Yu -Gi -Oh's LMAO. Wow. You can't buy that, sir. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to put that back. Oh, my God. Sneep. Good luck, Dustin Day. Connor says, I also ordered Roaring Skies. No problem. When we find that other order, I'll be sure to open those, okay? I was only letting you jump for that one item, okay? So let's, let's wait till we run across that. I doubt anyone else ordered Roaring Skies. But let's be safe. All right, shiny, shiny Meowth. That's shiny, glaring Meowth, mister. For Dustin Day. Here you go, Dustin. Uh, the thing is, with that that whole booster box, you don't affect anyone else's pulls because it's, it's its own unit, you know, like it's his own box. Yeah. Next up, we got Jack Gray. Jack says, one Detective Pikachu, please, and thank you. Jack Gray, Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu, man. Oops. Bulbasaur, Lickitung, Snubble, and Machamp. Sorry, mister. No Charizard in this pack. That's for Jack Gray. You got a bag right here, mister. With a lovely Celebi in it. Oh, but it's hidden now. You sent a message, Mr. Keith. Thank you very much. And next we got Connor, who says one Roaring Skies. Well, there you go, Connor Gillespie. Now let's grab that Roaring Skies. Where'd I put it? Am I going to pull the camera over again? Well, we knew there was one in this box. Where'd it go, though? Ugh. Here it is. Roaring Skies. Chin Pokemon. Mommy, Daddy, I want some Chin Pokemon. Okay, good luck to Connor Gillespie. Steep. Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, what do we get? All right. Rayquaza EX. Very nice, mister. Beautiful. Excellent pull. Mr. Derek, where are your pants? You think I wear pants? Connor Gillespie, we opened your boofter. Mr. It looks like my package is going to make it even with the stamps putting left before my address. What? Sounds good. Now we have Mr. Juan. He says, one more Evo. All right. This is for Juan Murrow. How's it going, Mr. Juan Murrow? Here goes. Sneep. And he pulls... Potion and, ooh, Venusaur EX. All right. Very nice. Loving them Evos. Brock's Grit. All right, the rest of that's bulk. And here's your bag. Ooh. Rakish says, amazing. <laughs> When is Mr. going to collaborate with Bella? All right, time for a Bella co collab. I'm going to be in her next music video. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all that. Uh, <laughs> time for me to release my music video, guys. Nogala collab. Who TF is a Bella? Okay, after our friend Juan orders that pack of Evo, we get Gabriel Cargar, who says, What's up, card economist? I have a bag in the G-Box. I need card graders, 50 count, sword and shield silver lance. All right, one of these. Jet Black Spirit. Matchless Fighter. Shiny Star Japanese. All right, Shiny Star Japanese. One Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rage. <laughs> You're making me go get that Phantom Rage again, huh? <laughs> People don't order a lot of Phantom Rage. I don't know why not. I think it's because they buy maximum gold. And one CG, huh? Just doing the math real fast. Yeah, let me do the math real fast on this. Pull up my calculator. Make sure there were no mistakes. So, the shiny star is 20. The card grader is 15. Server Lance is five. Jet Black is six. Battle Styles, Matchless Fighter is six. That comes out to 52. Yep, you're good to go. Perfect. Just testing testing the uh, numbers there. We're going to write down. Oh. Someday I'll have an actual website. How nice will that be? There we go. Sweet. I have you written down for one pack of card graders. Actually, I need to mark those as sold out in a minute. Want me to design it for you? What? What are we designing? Sneep. Waifu cards? Get on it, mister. Sneep. And sneep. You ready? Here comes the Silver Lance, and it's cold. Here's Matchless Fighter. Matchless Fighter has a Nurshifu. Here's Jet Black Spirit, and it's cold. Here's Shiny Star. Now, Shiny Star is never cold. Cold. There's Urshifu, and you pull, well, just a Rillaboom, though. Okay, Rillaboom. Go ahead and sleeve these all up together. So it's a little pile of cards. And from your Phantom Rage, you pull UA Hyper Stadium. 
Oh, mister. Place that there. And, wow, that was a little bit on the cold side. That was a little bit rough. Gave you a bonus card. There's a Alolan Geodude from Tag Team. All right, that's for Mr. Cargar. Gabriel Cargar with the G. Here we are. Sorry, Mr. Cargar, nothing too wild. Now, what you're doing, Mr. Cargar, is you're buying one pack from every set. You might get more hits if you buy, uh, let's say, five packs from the same set because you'll go deeper into that set. Next up, we got Sarah Rodriguez. Welcome back, Sarah. Hello, mister. Can I get one Evo? Yes, you can. One Evo. One Shiny Star. And a spot in the large. All right. The large is on the move. This goes to Sarah Rodriguez. Whew. Deeper, he says. <laughs> Boop. You ready, Sarah? Here we go. Shiny Star and Evolutions. You have now Pokey Evolved. There we go. Oops. We've got Grookey. Hollow Suicune. We like Hollow Suicune. And Eternatus V. Nothing wild in the shiny star. But how about the XY Evos? Reverse Hollow Voltorb and Hollow Chansey. Okay. Ooh. Print lines? Yeah, <laughs> Chansey always has print lines. There's Chansey, and here's your Voltorb. Oh. Man, some good sounding music for a moment there. Miss Sarah, let's find your bag. That's Sandro. Here we go. Sarah... I like your Pikachu, Sarah. Next up, we have Jack Walsh. Jack says, Mr. Seven More Dragon Ball Supas. Supas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He says he'd also like some international shipping. All right, sounds good, Mr. Jack Walsh. You ready? Jack Walsh, it sounds like you're about ready to be shipped, mister. One, two, three, four, five, six, sneep, and seven, sneep. We're all sneaked up. Now let's pull you the hottest pack of your of your Dragon Ball Super life, mister. We've got Broly the Swift Berserker. Holy, he's uncommon. Pack number two. Android 16. Oh, was there more? Hold on, hold on. Row Bash Supremacy. I knew I missed it. So there we go. Uncommon and is that super rare? He's so rare. Broccoli looks tough. That's right. <laughs> Here's Fearless Assault Krillin and King Vegeta. Vagina. It's King Vagina. Here's Mercenary, Mercenary Toe. Is it Tao O or Toe? I don't know how to say that name. He's a common. So reverse hollow common. Or maybe we just call it hollow common. Oh, what's this? Android 13, the Unstoppable. He looks so tough, but actually it's just a common card. It's not an unusually rare card. <laughs> He's the Unstoppable. Next up, we've got Vados' Assistance. <gasps> Is this the Son Go Goku that everyone wants? Oh my gosh, it's Son Goku. Is this one any good? <laughs> it's worth 100000 I swear. 
Okay, and Master Roshi, Universe 7 United. Sweet! Jack says, oh. Is Son Goku even further beyond? What? <laughs> Mr. Jack Walsh, 100, 200, 300? I have no clue. <laughs> that Goku, second best hit. I thought I heard something like that. People like the Sun Goku for some reason. Sweet. Now, this bag's pretty heavy. Um, this is not going to be the normal shipping price. I, I can tell you this right now. You see how thick the bag is? That is a very thick bag full of hits. So congratulations on all your pulls. I highly appreciate that. However, what that's going to do is that's going to accrue a, a $13 additional fee for the shipping, okay? Because basically, once you go over the eight ounce mark, you, you basically are paying for a second box to be shipped out. So it will be an additional, he says, okay, I can send some more, how much? Yes, so it'll be $13 USD, and that's because we're, we're clearly over eight ounces. That'll be close. That'll actually be over a pound is what that'll be, the, the weight of it. <laughs> I know you guys actually have your currency. It's called the pound. So and we weigh things by the pound. We're going to call this live. I'm going to give you free live shipping, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I don't think you have any slabs or anything. But I'll bump you up to live shipping. So that you don't have to wait out too long <laughs> let me place it to the side we'll get that shipped real nicely after the stream now of course there's no sunday pickup okay there's no sunday pickup the mailman will be back on monday adam mundorf says one shot star v Ooh. one xy evo Ooh. and one live custom you got it adam good luck stack attacka look at that stack attacka all right, let's see what you got, mister. Mr. Adam Moondorf. You mean male woman. <laughs> That's right. Sneep. It's the male woman. It's my right as a man to be a woman. <laughs> Here's Charmander. Diglett and Mega Slowbro, bro. <laughs> Shiny star. What do we got? Urshifu. And just Toxtricity. Wow, those uh, shiny star packs have been kind of cold. All right, sleeve these all up. And it's all for you, Adam Mundorf. Mr. Adam. That was kind of a rough round, Adam. Let's see your bag up here, I think. Bro, it's mega slow, bro. He's like mega slow. He's definitely into Vore. You can tell he's a Vore slow, bro. W-Y-A, you just pulled Skyla. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Joe Harris returns. I'm Joe Harris, and this is my Pokemon card shop. He wants five Battle Styles and five Jet Black Spirit. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, five. There's Jet Black. And five Battle Styles. Wap, wap, wap. That's right. Worship and pray. By the way, guys, I think the line tonight is going to be a little shorter, okay? One, two, three, four, five. In case you wanted to make an order, shouldn't be too long the wait time. I'm going nice and fast if you can't tell. You can tell I'm going to be fast on the line when I don't get too wrapped up in any conversation. You know, so if I start talking politics or economics or finance or whatever that slows me down but when we don't have any crazy topics going on man i slam that line so we shouldn't have too long of a wait time mister any more movement on wap grading <laughs> no not right now right now my number one goal right now is to get on the water i'm not done i'm not done moving in until we have something like a sea do Here's, ah, Flapple VMAX. He's flapplin' around. Flapplin' like an applin'. 
Here's Prime Ape. And Fan of Waves. And finally, Cacturn. All right. Just one flapple from the Battle Styles, mister. I told it to be hot, but it just didn't listen. What's up, James O? How's it going? Quick, mister, talk about politics. Woo, the line could be long and everyone gets mad. <laughs> Here's Celebi. Urgh, those politicians. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Here's Tapu. You ever owned a boat? I've never owned a boat, so I have no clue what I'm doing. Really. I'm going to be a boat expert in like a year. Oh, I like this hollow Gengar. Hollow Gengar is very spicy. And that's cold. Okay, Mr. Joe Harris. All your pokey cards have been pulled. You're the one with the extra thick bag. Oh, my lord. It's just standing up on its own. <laughs> like when you when you poop an extra thick turd and it just kind of sits up in the toilet bowl all on its own. Needs no help at all. I got to clear some room on the table. Everyone's waiting on My Little Pony. <laughs> There's some My Little Pony hype going on. So these are all new packs. Uh, they're all fresh. I don't know what you mean by new. Like, we do got new sets, yeah. Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit, those are brand new. They just came out. They're not even out in America yet. Is that the Japanese version of Chilling Rain? I think it is. I think Matchless Fighters along with Silver Lance and Jet Black Spirit, I think those three sets put together will be like Chilling Rain. All the bronies coming out. <laughs> oh, man. My little pony. All right, let's see. Let's see. I just got into Pokemon Breaks from Steve A. Oki. Oh, very cool, mister. Well, nice to meet you. Joe Harris. I think I was doing box breaks before Mr. A. Oki, uh, but I know he's, he's a bit more of a celebrity than I am. Joe Harris. Bryce Brown is next. He says, what's up, good sir? Can I get one live custom booster? One Battle Styles, one Matchless, and one Jet Black. You guys do this thing where you spread out thinly across multiple sets. You can do it for fun, but I don't recommend it unless you're going real deep in each set. One live custom booster. Oh, mister. Oh, what's this? PSA 10, SV52. What is SV52? Can't reach it. It's so far away. It's Turdinator. Woo. All right. It's all yours, Mr. Bryce Brown. I actually like Turdinator. He's pretty cool. Snipe. <laughs> Can you collaborate with Mia Khalifa? I sure would. Bryce Brown with Turdinator. All right. Now let's get these boofdas open. They could be the hottest boofters of your life. I just got an offer to be a chef for LeBron James. LeBron James. Welcome to Pimp My Ride. <laughs> Can I get a pack your pick? I got a pack for you right here, mister. All right, let's see what we got. <laughs> Here's Cheryl. Jet Black Spirit is... Oh, a Metagross VMAX. Very nice. Not bad for like one pack. And Matchless Fighter is cold. Well, there you go. Everything in balance, as it should be. He was a well-known DJ long before he was a Pokemon Breaker. There you go. Very cool. Well, and I'm glad he's here opening Pokies, you know, because I think that that's good for the community, for anyone who's uh, really into Pokemon cards. You, you want to have mainstream adoption. That's really important. <clears throat> so having some people who are already kind of famous step in and spread the pokey love to others is exactly what mainstream adoption looks like. 
Big T, Brian, Chris, Brett. Did he say I have a bag? He says, I have a baggie. I think you're up top. My brain's telling me your baggie is probably up top. But let's see if that's true. We got Brian Ochoa, Cheese. Maybe it's this one. Bryce Brown, you were up top. Can you send me a cool card with your signature on it? Okay, I'm cooling a card down right now to send to you. Next up, we got our friend Michael Cusick. He says, 10 Silverlands. You got it, Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I think Silverlands is currently the cheapest Pokemon set I have available. And Sneep. He threw a cake at a lady's face. No! What's your Instagram? Uh, my Instagram will be the same as my TikTok and my YouTube. It's all the card economists. They're all the same. But I really don't do as much on Instagram. I do most of my posting here on YouTube, and then my second most visited platform is TikTok. I'm a big, big TikTok fan, even though, uh, you know, it's just a spy device for the CCP. No, I'm just kidding. I don't actually know anything like that. <laughs> I doubt it is, but may maybe if you want to believe some conspiracy. Technically, I think they still own it, right? Oh, Mr. Michael Cusick. Oh, my gosh. Who's that? That's Whitney, right? It's Whitney, bitch. And Calyrex with his little silver lance. Oh, mister. That was the round. Here's Frostlass. And that's a cold one. He just blew his cover. What? <laughs> okay. I deleted TikTok too addicting. Yeah, my wife's done that, but then she always down, downloads it again later. So, Michael Cusick, I think, yeah, new bag. I just shipped you. Mister, I just came. <laughs> Silver Lance does have a pretty cute waifu in it. Here you go, Michael. Alex is going, wow. <laughs> How's it going, Alex? Alex, best mod, huh? Any other mods here tonight or just Alex? Dylan Stuttered says two Silver Lance and two Jet Black. I thought TikTok was CCP malware. <laughs> All right, Dylan Stuttered. Melanie, oh, it's Melanie. Melanie is a goof. What? <laughs> I DM you on Instagram. You DM me on Instagram. What? Not. Uh. Stop trying to pull my chain, Mister. Here's oh, Cobalion. At first, I was like, "Hmm, TikTok is a joke." But bro, I don't think it's a joke anymore. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, cold. Sorry, Mr. Dylan. Darn it, dude. Your packs coming right after the previous guy, Michael Cusick, were so old. <laughs> I think he sniped everything. Dylan Stoddard. I don't recognize that name. Are you new, Dylan? Dylan might be new. Let's find your bag, Dylan. David Francis. Diego. Different Dylan. Dominic. I think he's new. All right, let's get him a let's get him a fresh bag. I want the CCP to spy on me. That way, they know what to sell to me. Mmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think TikTok is used to kill brain cells. That's right. <laughs> it's an attack on our intelligence. Stuttered. Man, you know it turns some people into multi-millionaire celebrities. It's pretty incredible when you think about it. That a uh, social media app is capable of that. All right, better luck next time, Mr. Dylan. Now we've got Gabriel Cargar. Last order for the night. 
One Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost from the Past. All right. Hopefully the Yu-Gi-Oh! Ghost from the Past. Here you go, Mr. Cargar. It is just one pack, though, okay? So don't get your hopes up too high. Now, if you're ordering like 50 of these suckers, then you'll get excited. Okay. We've got Sayaru. Sai Sai <laughs> Artifact Durendal. Evil Thorn. And Dragoonity Remus. All right, mister. And we'll just leave all of these up. And grab Gabriel's bag. Mr. Gabriel. Next up, we've got Jack Gray. One Jet Black and one Battle Styles. One Battle Styles. This is for Jack Gray. Jack Gray's thinking, I sniped once. I'll just snipe again. Easy mode. All right, here goes. Pack number one. How dour. And pack number two. You got Grapple Locked. That's pretty much a snipe. What do you guys think? Grapple Locked is a snipe? I think so. Mister should collaborate with Leonhart. Oh my gosh, Leonhart. I'll go, I can't believe it. <laughs> Every time we open a card. <laughs> Let's see, Jack Gray. I just had your bag. Like two seconds ago. Here it is. Whoop. Sweet. How's Kitty? Kitty's going, kitty, kitty, meow, meow. That's how Kitty's doing. She's great. All right, we're going to refresh and see if anyone wants to open some pokies. Do you ever open packs for yourself offline? Says so Rip and Flip. You'd be surprised. I really don't. You know why? It's because you know how expensive it is to open up packs consistently? It's crazy expensive. So anytime I open packs, I've got to record it so that I'm not wasting that content. You know what I mean? Like, so I've always got to make content over there on TikTok. And if I were to just open packs privately, it would be a missed opportunity. So you only ever see me open packs for you guys over here. And then if I open my own packs, I open them on TikTok. So keep an eye on my TikTok. I should do a, maybe I should do a YouTube video myself opening like a whole box of something. I haven't done that in a long time. Kind of miss it. Okay, so after Jack Gray, we have Jack Walsh. He says, here's for my thick bag. All right, thank you so much, Jack Walsh. You're ready to go. And we have a very large order from our friend Jacob Kai. He says, Mr. It's been a couple weeks. He would like one Shining Legends sent off for grading. Ah, that's why it's so pricey. That is pricey. So let's see what we got for you. We're going to pick one of these Shining Mews. This one looks a little nicer. We'll send that one off. That's going to be for Jacob Kai. Mister, do you know the channel Elverga? Uh, I know the channel Dergelda. That's this channel. G. Godwa says, Seal Gang. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Jacob Kai. Show your coolest pack, please. It's this one. It's so cool. You've never seen a pack so cool. Now, along with that, Jacob Kai would also like a General Mills. All right. General Mills. General Mills. He would also like two Mickey Donalds. Oh, man, reach him way back. One and two. Hey, whoa, mister. Happy Sunday morning. Shout out to Rosa. The Opus, uh, one packs, of course. What? What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. No boat bays in... What? That's right. We need the boat babes. So now we need, now wait a second. Are you saying one General Mill, two McDonald's, three Roaring Skies? Is that what you're saying? 
That's gotta be what he's saying. This is a really expensive order. All right, give me a minute. Let me get you those Roaring Skies. So here's one Roaring Skies. That's an empty bag. I think I am running low on Roaring Skies. It was bound to happen eventually. Here we go, I found some more. If you're not calling each other mister, you're not with the homies. Mister. Mister, you like Charizard? I like Charizard. All right, there we go. That's Roaring Skies 2. Please, sir was my father's name. Call me mister. All right, there we go. And now we're ready for this very fancy opening for Jacob Kai. Miftel, I love Charizard. <laughs> Charizard's so overrated. You better not talk that way about my Charizard. I'll get mad at you, Miftel. Mom! <laughs> Mom, he said he didn't like my Charizard. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? All right, here we are. Mr. Jacob Kai. You got scammed. I'm sorry, man. Just the hollow Pikachu and the General Mills. That's a pity. Okay, pack number two. How many Opus One booster boxes do you have? Uh, just the one. Here's Litten. Mr. Insulted my Chowie's old. <laughs> Cyndaquil. I actually really rather like this Cyndaquil. Look how happy he is. It's a very happy Cyndaquil. Hoops sold out already. Mister, you need to buy more. I know. They're on the way. We got Fletchling Hollow. Hmm, okay. Fletchling Hollow. Padov. Oh, no. And... Well, oh, okay, that's kind of cool, actually. That's Reshiram Hollow. That is not a hit. He sunk my battleship. Basketball cards are so hot right now. Basketball cards, so hot. That's so hot right now. Oh, there's a Natu. Good thing I went back through. Hey, that kind of rhymed. All right, cool. So we got a Natu. Mister, when are those NFL optics coming in? Those sporty cards will probably arrive on like Monday or Tuesday. Tooth day. Okay, here's the here's the Natu. And we sleeved up the hollow Reshi Rom. Uh, these cold packs represent sadness. I'm gonna get you one pity pull. Just one. Oh, and it's Brawly. Congratulations. That's a hot one. That's a pity pull from Nogala. So you can thank, thank him for that. My bag is in the overflow. Thank you, Jacob Kai. Now, the question is, which overflow are we talking about? The up top overflow? Let's check the up top. Kyle, Kano, John. So not the, not the up top overflow, which means he's talking about the regular overflow. Fergie Cave, Jeff. Is this Jeff Leon? Oh, Jeff Leon had a bag in the overflow too. So we didn't need to create this, right? Okay, Jeff Leon. We got Jeff Leon, Evan Shea, Joey Joseph, Cole Kokoschke, who's been sitting there forever, Edward Eaton, Emiliano, Alan Tan, Jacob Kai. Wow, your bag's not even that full, honestly. You know why you're over there, though, right? Because there's no room in the JA box. Oh, you got the rainbow version of the same card. That's so lucky that you pulled. So now you got both of them. Got that out of the Nogla Pity Pull box. Ever Tremidio says, hey, Mr. Five Dragon Ball Super Evolution. One, two, three, four, five. This is for Ever Tremidio. He says, I do have a bag. Mr. Skips my funny comments, but if he did read them, I bet he'd laugh. Let's see. Scrolling up, scrolling up. We need cricket cards. We're getting the cricket cards right now. We stocking magic next? 
you know, I have not been stocking any magic cards. And I do that because I don't think magic cards get graded that much. Not the modern magic cards. I think they just get played with. So, I mean, I could stock them. Magic's a major hobby. I could stock them. Maybe I get like a really old magic set. All right, we got the furry card. And the other furry card. What's your fursona, mister? You can tell us. This is a safe space. Is magic real? <laughs> get some time spiral magic. What do we got over here? We've got pan natural fighter. That's right. Pan gonna beat your ass. Mr. about to buy alpha boxes. Joke's on you, mister. I'm not funny. <laughs> we got chilled army reinforcements. Ooh. Okay, and death blaster. He is a death blaster. That's considered a rare. Last pack. Yamcha Wolf Fang Pitching Fist Ball. Man, that's a really weird artwork. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, that says UC Uncommon. Is that Charizard wow. going to be pulled out of the live customs too, huh? Uh, this Charizard, he is in the large. He's in the large. Mike says, those are Krasit. <laughs> Ever Treminio. He says he's got a bag. Let's go looking for it. UFC packs, UFC packs, UFC packs, UFC packs. We could do UFC packs if there was enough interest. I like the idea of UFC packs a lot. Ever Treminio. We'll pull a Logan Paul. <laughs> Is Pokemon market back to normal or are prices still inflated? Mister, I don't think anything's back to normal for any collectible hobby at all. Everything's overpriced because everyone's got tons of money coming out of their ears. Somehow everyone lost their jobs, and yet the stock market's going up, the price of goods are going up. How's that happening? I'll tell you how. We printed like 60% of all U.S. dollars in history in like the last year. The graph is insane to look at. If you look at how much money we printed, it's it scares the bejeebus out of you. You should get Supreme what? Supreme Rivalry. UFC hobby would be the best. Buy Beanie Babies before they go up, up, up. That's right. Beanie Babies are on the move, guys. We got to stay ahead of the curve, ahead of the trends. I'm going to go get the Princess Diana Beanie for $14,000. right. We're refreshed. Let's see. I got a cash back bonus from PayPal. What? We have an order from Mr. Arturo Perez, who says two Opus Ones. How many packs do you have left? How many packs do I have left? Uh, looks like I have plenty of packs left, okay? We got plenty of packs. You ready? Mr. Arturo Perez. I might open one of these myself with you. Sneak. You ready? You can't handle this. Here it goes. Shiva. Oh, my. Oh, wait. It's just a common card. Never mind. I shouldn't scream. Is Shiva naked? Bro, Shiva's straight up naked, bro. Vincent, Nora, and Kane. All right. I'm all in on Shiva. I'm opening Opus 1 all day, every day. Bye, 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 bye. No cap, I'm going deep on Jet Black Monday. <laughs> Here's Monk. Uh, Monk's body proportions do not look right. <laughs> Looking a little weird. Hades. LeBro. What? Odin. That's pretty cool. And Titus. All right, cool. Opus 1, Shiva. Shiva's looking kind of hot, man. He says, let's go. I believe in you, Ben. You're going to get that, Caitlin. What? <laughs> you must be talking about him going deep on Monday. So, Arturo, let's find your bag. Waifu Common, invest! <laughs> this ain't any Waifu Common. This, this is, look, she's got some underboob action going. Oh, my God. Don't tell my parents. Don't tell Jesus. 
you got to give me hairy palms and all that. Soccer cards, which is better? I pulled Christian R Ronaldo. What? You did not. Adam Vinson says one shiny star. You got it, Adam. Look at that dumpy. Okay, Mr. Adam. Sneep. One shiny star. Oh, there we go. That was the shiny star to open. Because you're going to pull Zation Gold. Ooh, very nice, mister. That's a hit. You sunk my battleship. Very good. That's for our friend Adam Vinson. All right, Mr. Adam. Adam Mundorf. Adam Vinson. I had to go when I got back home. What? Messy is messy? What? What are we talking about? Congratulations, Adam. Where? Dude, this chair is so squeaky. Jack Gray says, Snipe! All right, let's see. So I've refreshed. I'm just like relaxing. And we're caught up. There is no line for opening cards at all, which means if you were to order right now, you could open any set that you wanted and there would be no wait time. What should I do, guys? You think I should just have an early night? Alex says do the giveaway. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm tired. <sighs> Ronaldo is best. Go to sleep. All right. I'm going to lay my head down on the table. You guys just stare at this. I'm going to sleep. I'll wake up in an hour and see if any pokey orders have come in. <laughs> have an early night because I don't want to have to spend money today. Diggy Mon, no late night. Napstream. Adam says, thanks, mister. No problem. I could take you into the kitchen and we can make like some ramen together. <laughs> mister, are you excited for the Japanese Eevee set coming out in a couple weeks? Oh, you know it. I'm so hypers. Could you look at message on Discord? All right, let's take a quick look. I got a lot of messages. So that's Jack Walsh. Let's go ahead and mark this on red. This should be Tammy. Here's Pekka. Pekka wants to make me a trade. Here's Stardust. Stardust is like, did you receive my package yet? Not yet. You sure you messaged me? I don't know if I see a message from you. All right, let me refresh the PayPal's. Pokey Ramen, that's right. Pokey Ramen. I think there's another order. Let's see. That looks like another order. Yes, it is. We've got Ever Treminio who says another five Dragon Ball Evolution. You got it, mister. One, two, three, four. And number five. Dragon Ball Super. Next up, we're going to get Dragon Ball Vermilion. Mr. needs to drink on stream. That's right. Mr., I'm going to spend my stimmy on you. And do you accept e EBT? I wish I could accept EBT, but I, I do not. <laughs> did you look at my message on Discord? I did not because I, I didn't see it. You could send it to me again if you want, and that would bump it to the top, Okay. I'll make you a trade, mister. Eight spots in the large for my two PSA cards I have with you. Says Jack Gray. Hmm. Jack, I I could be talked into that. What if you what if you lost it all though? You would lose all that value. Um, but I don't even remember what you got. I'd have to go find out what cards you had. Mister, do you have to pay to look at the Zation's grade? Oh, you're asking me to do a card evaluation. Well, Honestly, your card's very likely going to grade 10. That's because the Japanese cards grade 10 more often than they grade 9. And if you think about it, even if it did grade 9, it's probably still worth grading. 
Here's oh booty after mage after mage slash. What? And what is this? This looks like such a crazy cool card, right? Napa Sabin. Man, but that's just a common. <laughs> you got any Bulgagi Japanese edition? That's right. Here's Tian Shin Han, the long awaited rematch. <laughs> you got it both hollow and non hollow. Cool. You did it, mister. That's very neat. Connor Gillespie. Oh, wait. Before we do that, let's get this into Ever Treminio's bag. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then we have an order from Connor. And Connor's going to go deep. Okay, so that's for Ever. Connor says three, ooh, wound of five minds and one evil. Wake up, mister. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. And one Evos, right? Oh, actually, you know, I do have two more NBA hoops down here. I forgot about this. No, nah, we shouldn't sell those. No, never mind. What am I thinking? Mr. Station Class does an expensive grade card. I may send it. Uh, you can... Good question. Um, I would try to send it Tier 1. Yeah, I would try to send it Tier 1. Steve, Keith says, check it out. Hold on, let me see, Keith. Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, Yeah, I'll, I'll think about that when that arrives, okay, mister? <laughs> Sneep. And Sneep. All right, sweet. <laughs> Would you consider buying any diamond and pearl or black and white packs? I've looked at them. I consider them too expensive for what you'll actually pull out of there. So the packs currently, from my point of view, are overpriced. Ooh, we got a reverse hollow Celebi from Unified Minds. Have to sleeve that up. And, oh, there we go. Dragonite GX, very good. Mr. Connor pulling the Dragonite GX in just just three packs, huh? Ding 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 ding. Ah, any of my slabs for X Y Evo, Mister? It's Alex. It's Alex. Alex one. Here's Diglett. All right, you pull a Diglett as well, Mr. Connor Gillespie. Once she's had the Doug Trio, she can't come back to the Diglett at home. <laughs> Let's get this in your bag, Mr. Connor. Where did we put you? I always forget where we put you. You're right here. <laughs> so you want to do some kind of slab trade. Who was the other guy that wanted to do it? Was it Jack Walsh? Can't remember. Who was that talking? That was the robot lady. You can use the Streamlabs link to send voice messages to me now. Uh, however, it's done upon donation. So, Alex, let's find out what Alex has over here. Huh? Mr. Alex. Alex, you still got that, um... You still got that rocket booster pack, man. You planning on having that graded? Here. I don't see them so far. Awesome cards. Our Marquez. Jeremy Helmstatter's got some. Here we go. You got a PSA 10. Uh, here. Uh, I only found one PSA for you. Unless you got one in this deck. Maybe you got one in this deck. No, you don't got one in this deck. So, Mr. Alex, I don't know if I'm missing one, but all I found was your dragon pull. I have four slaps. You have four of them, huh? 
Why didn't I see them? Maybe I put them in another box. Well, let me refresh the PayPal real fast. See if there's anyone waiting to have their packs open. What do you think is the best value pack to buy from XY other than Evolutions? That's a hard question to answer, but I'm a big fan of Breakpoint and Fates Collide. I like both of those a lot. All right, it does look like there's another order to open. So, we have an order from Mr. Tito Agustiniano. He says five Dragon Ball Super Evolutions. All right. So I got one pack here. However, I'm gonna need to go out into the family room and grab some more of those boxes. So I'll be right back. Is it just me or you never pull a Charizard from a Charizard art pack? We pull Charizards every time, mister. 100% of the time we pull Charizards. All right, so we got more Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super. Mr. Tito. Can Mr. read Spanish? I can read English. Do you grade a lot of your own pulls? I grade... I had, a, I had a joke to say, but it was really inappropriate. Okay, here we go. So this is for Tito Agostiniano. Sleep. Do I drink Champurado Tamales? That's exactly what I drink. Dragon Ball... Top three anime. Um, top three anime. The Simpsons... No, I'm just kidding. All right, here we go. We've got Chiatsu... Is it true there's no more Pokemon at big box stores? No, I don't think that's... I think some of them probably got rid of it. Here's Remote Serious Bomb. What? Pack number three. Here's Mechior Bobbing and Weaving. Every Zard pulled is our Charizard. Here's Ultimate Fusion Gogeta. ST, does that mean starter? Naruto Hero Academy Hainte, what? Here's Nakunsa Maiden Knight, Might, and Obuni after image slash. All right, there we go. Sweet. All that can be yours, Mr. Tito. Walmart still has pokey, says D's nuts. Maybe it's just some Walmarts that don't have them anymore, you know? Next up, we have Jack Gray, who says, oh. Dragapult and Charizard promo CGC9. Five for half a box of Evo or would not be enough still. Charizard promo CGC 9.5? Um, I would need to go find it, okay, Mr. Alex? I, I don't I don't know how to value them until I actually see them, okay? So let's see. Jack Gray wants one Jet Black. Here we are. He says, I have two PSA 9 cards with you. I would be open to trade for spots in large. Was thinking eight spots for both. Okay. Well, I can go take a look. Maybe if I can find Alex's cards as well. Mr. Jack... Just depends on what they are, okay? Oh, I'm sorry, Jack. That's a cold pack. Darn it. Now, I will go looking for Mr. Alex's and Mr. Jack's slabs because they are interested in doing trades. I think this is it over here. Yeah, I found it, Alex. You had so many slabs, I think I placed it into another box. Oops. 
So those are some slabs from Alex, and then it's Jack Gray who's open to a trade as well. Here we go, Jack Gray with the Greninja. Oh, I found the other one. Greninja and Beedrill. You will never get this, you will never get this. La 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 la. <laughs> That's Japanese, right? And how about the Greninja? SV-56. Damn, mister, I'm fighting for cards. What? I'm really debating on buying some Fates Collide. I'd have to be a busy corner great thinking. So I couldn't offer you four spots in the large for these. Um, I, I would say I could offer you two and a half spots in the large for those. Mr. Alex. Alex also had some cards. So the Jump Pluff is really the only one I'm sort of inf interested in. Let's see, Jump Pluff. Man, I love this music that's playing. Okay, so Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex, I would do 80 for the Jump Pluff. I would do about 20 for the Charizard. I don't know what I'd do for the coughing. Coughing's really a strange one. Wow, there's one listed for $100. That seems like a bit much. All right, he has no sale history though. He certainly hasn't sold for $100. He says, I'll keep the coughing. Man, those old Rocket Return cards, man. Strange. All right, so that was for Jack Gray. And Alex, I don't know if you were saying anything else. Alex says... Yeah, so Alex, I can help you out and take that for the full 80. That's, that's the cheapest buy now, by the way. This Charizard's basically junk to me. There's too many of them. Um, I could take it for 20. You're keeping the coughing. Very good. And then you had another one, huh? This is the fourth one. Oh, right, the Dragapult. So I will offer you... If you would do 80 on the Dragapult, I would accept 80. I would need to resell them, okay? All right, there you go. And we're talking about store credit here because uh, I don't know if I... If you're, if you're talking cash, then I would probably make a different offer. But I think what you were saying is you would like to open some booster packs, right? Was that correct? So, Alex, let me know what you're saying yes to. How's it going, Diego?
Uh, all right, let me go. Let me go refresh real fast. Store credit for X Y. Yes. So all those cards that we mentioned. I sent the shipping, but I didn't know you moved, so it's forwarding the package to the correct address. Oh, very good. So you keep this one, right? And Mr. Alex, this puts you at $180. There you go. Sweet. <laughs> You want Blaine's Charlie's old Miftle. All right, I'll hang that little card up for you. And I can't remember to scratch these out. One time I forgot to do that. <laughs> I forgot to, somebody made a trade with me and I forgot to scratch the names out. And what I did was I accidentally sh shipped them all the cards, the, the PSA slabs they had done the trade with and they didn't ship them back. <laughs> yep, <laughs> so can't have that happen again. Where should I put these? I guess over here or something. Okay, cool. Nice trade. You want the Blaine's Chowies old? How much do you think this Blaine's Chowies old goes for? How did he not get the nine, dude? He looks so close to a nine. I don't know. Maybe if I sent him to PSA, he'd be an eight. <laughs> so... Alex, all you got to do is let me know what you want to open, and I'll open that for you. In the meantime, let's do a refresh. Mr. Alex. Mr. Alex. Another busy night, man. I know you're scared, Alex. Don't be scared. He wants Evos. Okay, let's see what that would turn into. 180 divided by 27. All on XY. So you would end up with six packs. Six by 27 minus 180. You're going to have $18 left over. Okay, so you got 18 bucks left. Okay, Alex, toss this up here. And let's get you some XY Evo. Well, we're running low on XY Evo. Can't believe it. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Woohoo! There's a Zared in there, hopefully. <laughs> Sneep. <laughs> All right, we love XY Evos. Sneep. We got all the Sneeps. Vintage Japanese is cooler. Here's Diglett. Hopefully you get your money's worth. Pack number two. Here's Electabuzz. All right. Pack number three. Starmy. Oh, my God. The hottest packs are coming out I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Caterpie. Oh, no. I'm getting a little anxious now. All right. We're four in and so far cold. Oh, no. Psychic Energy. We are reliant on the last pack. Come on, last pack luck. Oh, no. You got Kakuna. Kakuna Matata. Well, let's find out. Maybe there's some crazy, like, surfing pee, -pee chews in here or something. Okay, here's a Executor. Here's an Imakuni. Okay, two. It's not so bad, actually. Already two secret rares. Can we get a third? A third secret rare would go a long way. Oh, there we go. Flying Pikachu. All right. It's not that bad, Alex. Not that bad. There's an Arcanine. By the way, I forgot to look for Pikachus and 
I forgot to look for Pikachus and Charmanders. Let's just redo it real fast. It's not so bad. I thought it was going to be really bad. But you're picking up three secret rares in six packs. That's like one every two packs, which is quite a high pull rate on those. Woo! And we'll toss this over here. You only got the surfing. So let's go ahead and sleeve these up. For those of you who aren't in the know, the Flying Pikachu and the Surfing Pikachu are pretty valuable in this set. If they can grade 10, even just one of them, it can sell for like $200. And then, of course, these other secret rares look pretty nice, too. In fact, they if you look, it's looking pretty good on the centering. Sleeve it up. And Arcanine, we'll sleeve them up, too. How much is the Imakuni Dodoro worth market price? Well, by itself, it probably wouldn't be worth that much. But, you know, I'm curious. Why don't we do a little research on these? We never look at these. Let's find out what the Executor and the Imakuni's Dodoro go for. Because that's something I don't even know. Give me a second. So, Evolutions, PSA 10. So, PSA 10 is a best-case scenario. Imaku... Tell you what, let's just look up Doduo. Wow, they're listed for $200. Crazy. But let's see if any have sold for that price. Okay, so Mr. Alex, in March, an Imakuni sold for $114 as a 10. Here's one that sold for $130. And we got these two sales as well. These were also in March, 150 and 200. In fact, am I going, okay, I'm going by cheapest price. Let's go by ended recently. All right, so the most recent one sold for 130 and before it, this one marked down from 200. That's actually pretty good. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that the Imakuni's Dodoa was also valued. Now let's try the Executor. So... The Executor is the least popular, apparently. Look at this. He sold May 9th, which wasn't too long ago, but it was marked down from 100. So he is the least popular. Well, maybe Team Rocket, here comes Team Rocket is. So March 8th, that's 67, 62. So he's not selling very well. It makes me want to go pick one up, actually, because I feel like he's just as rare as the other ones. All right, but there's only one for sale. So there's only one for sale for 190. Okay, so he shouldn't be ignored, but he might not be as good as the others. It's curious that Imakuni Doduo is so nice. I'm gonna try the Team Rocket one as well because I'm really curious about that. Should be Here Comes. I'll just type in Here Comes. <laughs> so there's a single Here Comes Team Rocket and it's listed for 250, wow. But let's see if it's sold, actually. It looks like Here Comes Team Rocket has not sold. All right. Very interesting. So there's only one for sale. And they're asking for a lot of money. But there's no, like, sale history to recommend, you know, to suggest that it's got that established price. The Flying Pikachu, on the other hand, does have an established sale history. He's good. Way My Rocket Pack. It's not an English rocket pack. That's a Japanese rocket pack, Alex. It has a hollow in it. So you can open it. It will have a holographic card. Let's see. Ah, this bag's the smaller bag. Yeah, Alex, you bought a uh, you bought a Japanese pack from me, and those Japanese packs have a guaranteed hollow. So you're you're set to go if you want to open it. The question is, which hollow card? You know, if it's dark wheezing, that's going to be no good. <laughs> Alex says open. All right, you got it, mister. I'll be right back. Let me go. Let me go get it.
Incoming Mew. <laughs> Makes no sense. You can use Maven website for recent sold pricing. Maven. Okay. Interesting. You ready? Here goes. Pacho Pikachu forever. It's an error pack with all dark Charizards. Yeah, that'd be amazing. You ready? Are you nervous? Do I keep the pack art? Yeah, you can keep the pack art. You always keep the pack art when I do this. And it is. <gasps> Gyarados, all right, a lovely looking Gyarados Hollow. Sweet. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. Hollow Gyarados. You also pick Dratini, Slowpoke. All right, there's that Flareon. That's a that's a hit. Charmander is a hit, and Jolteon. So you got three common uncommons that are very nice as well. Sleeve these up too. So these packs of Team Rocket have gotten extremely expensive. And I hope you get your money's worth out of those pulls, mister. You did well on the common and commons. The only thing that could have made it better is if you picked up like Dark Charmeleon, basically. But yeah, and you've still got all these. I mean, it's not like these aren't valuable. The Dratini, for example. I mean, that's really cute. Okay. Let's pop these back in. And I think what we're going to do, actually, Mr. Alex, the Evos were a sacrifice for to Gary. What? There we go. He wants to trade them for two more packs of Evos. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Alex. You, you're just joking. He didn't really say that. <laughs> All right. So time to refresh. Yeah, that's a fancy card, man. We do have some more orders. Let's see what people are opening. So now we have Connor Gillespie, who says, one Evo and one last, Roaring Sky. Ooh. One last, Roaring Sky. There it goes. I <laughs> have to wait till payday now. There's Roaring Skies. And Evo, Mr. Man, look at that Gyarados. Doesn't that look nice? Sneep. Luckily, it's the Gyarados rather than like Arbok or Weezing or Here Comes Team Rocket because those are all pretty weak pulls. Although, I think the Arbok has gone up a bit since when I first started. You pull Natu and Articuno. All right. I like your Articuno, except he's a little off center. Mr. Connor. For the evolutions, you open. It's Nine Tails. Woohoo! Find out what else was in here. Weedle Gang <laughs> had no secret rares in this pile. I'm sorry, Mister. Just Nine Tails break. That's okay. You know, break cards have been going up in value for a while now. People would make fun of them, and now they're like, "Wait a second, maybe I want them." One of those strange things where it's like, once people desire them, you go, oh, wait a second, those are cool now. Next up, we got James O'Brien, who says three maximum golds. Let's pull you a Dark Magician. One, two, and three. There we go. Maximum gold. And we need more penny sleeves. Wow, we go through these penny penny sleeves so fast. It's really crazy. Thanks, James. 
Let's find out what you pull. I'll pull good and sell the rest. That's Alex. What? Some nice vintage for the TCC shelf. We got Elemental Hero and Martial Metal March Marcher. Sweet. Here's Go, 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 Gigas. <gasps> no way. Blue eyes, white dragon, like you weren't even trying. Take a look at that, James. Very nice. Let's leave him up. I'm giving him his own sleeve. There we go. Wow. And what do we got here? We've got the Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. <laughs> Man, why does it feel like there's a spider on my head? There's not. It's just my hair. <laughs> James says, but it's Yugi's art. We pulled it. <laughs> He says, we just pulled one the other night. I guess it's RNG. I don't know what to say. That's what that's what you hope for, right? You hope whatever you're opening has good RNG, right? Because that would mean if somebody else pulled a blue eyes white dragon, you would still have a chance for one, right? So there you go. I'm not complaining at all. Just means we got the good ones. He says, there was one just the other night. <laughs> And we might be wrapping up now. We can wrap up a little early, I guess. Not a big deal. Let's see. Pretty good last order, huh, James? So let's start doing the giveaway, everyone. I'm going to go jump over to the Discord server, and I'm going to clone the giveaway channel and open it up. Okay, we're cloning it right now. Go ahead and delete it. Delete. And now we're going to make this visible to everyone. There we go. And now you guys are welcome to make your guests in the giveaway channel. Remember, you get one guess, just one guess. And if somebody makes the same guess as you, but they guess it first, it, the win's going to automatically go to them. So you can use the search function in the channel to check and see if your number's already been used, Okay. Shouldn't be too much competition. There's just 135 people watching. Mister, use the rest of my credit on Jet Black Spirit. All right, you got it. Three packs of Jet Black Spirit for Mister Alex. You ready? Only the hot ones, Mister. Sneep. Oh, there you go. Secret Rare Metagross. You're having a nice night now, Mr. Alex. That's a snipe. You also pick up Celebi VMAX. Oh, my lord. Snipe. And that's a cold pack. Cool. That was very good, Mr. Alex. <laughs> a little bit better than the Evos did for you. Although, again, you, you did pull the Flying Pikachu in there, so that's not as bad as it could have been. If you didn't pull... Three secret rares definitely would have been tougher. So you got lucky with the secret rares there. There you go, Mr. Alex. All right, now I'm going to be shutting down the giveaway channel very soon. So make your guess right now. I'm going to open the number generator. Let's get the number generator. How did I know, says Alex. You're psychic. All right, we'll set this to 101. And now I'm locking it up. And here we go. And it's locked. Time to find out who wins the giveaway. Boop. 51. 51's the winning number. Let's find out who had it or who was closest to it without going over. Nobody had 51. Or 50. Or 49. DJM had 48. Let's jump up to DJM. And DJM is... His name is just DJM. All right, Mr. DJM. 
Let's see if you pull anything meaningful out of here. Well, Mr. DJM, you do pick up Hollow Victini. Sweet. I'm DJM. How's it going, Mr. Clown Talking Sport? Now, Mr. DJM, I don't have your address or anything. If you're wanting this to be shipped out. Okay, he says I'll take it. <laughs> I'll put it in a little baggie for you. And if you decide to uh, open any additional cards, this could be your baggie on the table, all right? And I'll do a last refresh on PayPal now, just to make sure nobody made any last second orders. And then we are done, done. We are all done, homies. Yep, looks like we're done. Okay, well, if you guys have not subscribed, I hope you'll consider. We'll be back on tomorrow. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.